Howdy kids. The magic word for today is chaos. Now, when I came into work today with the sole purpose of seeing the Fighting Irish get pimp slapped by NC State, but the luck of McGregor was on Brian Kelly's side. But boy, Penn State, TCU, and Michigan State? <laughs> what did the five fingers say to the face? Cold blooded. And I'm sorry, no, no, I'm still rooting for y'all. So at the top of the college football playoff, looking like somebody just yelled, Jenga! Let's try to project what the top four of the college football playoff is gonna look like on Tuesday. Now at number one, my esteemed colleague, Justin Perry, taught me into going with the Georgia Bulldogs at number one instead of the Night King, and it's hard to argue with this logic. The Bulldogs traveled up to South Bend and got up in Notre Dame's Honey Nut Cheerios and then beat the brace off a ranked Mississippi State squad while Bama, my numero dos, only credible win came against the third-ranked Florida State Seminoles, who lost their quarterback in damn near every game since. Now at number three, I'm going with the squad I love to hate. Notre Dame's only losses to my top-ranked Georgia Bulldogs, but best believe more chaos is on the horizon, and touchdown Jesus won't even be able to save these boys from another L, whether it's by the hands of the U and or my boys on the farm. Believe that. And rounding out my top four is Ohio State. Now, my hate for the Buckeyes was strong after Baker Mayfield took that field like, that's my bike, punk! But Ohio State totally redeemed themselves tonight, knocking off the second-rate Nittany Lions. And I know I have two one-loss squads ranked above undefeated Wisconsin and Miami, but you get no play in my ride until you beat someone wearing your big boy pads, you dig? So there you have it. That's my top four, but don't get your tighty whities with possum holes in a bunch, because this is only the beginning, and more chaos awaits, and more hate for the Fighting Irish, the end.